Pray for me. 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 Because as you pray for me, you pray for you. You pray for everyone you ever knew. Your blessings might affect them too. And it all started with you watching this on YouTube and agreeing to pray for me. Because when you do good unto others, it comes back to you in multitude, overwhelmingly huge. Like a typhoon, you'll be swept away onto glory and grace from that little seed which you planted and placed when you prayed for me. And it doesn't have to be directly from you. What I'm trying to show you is that someone else's prayers could be what helps make your wishes come true. And if you know that this is so, then together let us grow from that thread which we all sow. On this day, let the story be told. Tomorrow and so on and so forth. That we made history thanks to God blessing our synergy when we, meaning you and I, I and you, prayed for me. Because I too, like you, believe in God. I know that he or she or whatever you prefer to perceive of this deity is true to the word and would answer those that ask and help themselves but first in numbers there is strength unity is power yes division equals conquer and so far my one prayers are not loud enough to overcome the whole world so no wonder that no matter how much i exhaust my lungs till yonder i still need some of yours to pray for me pray for me pray for me Pray for me because inside I have the potential to be great But I'm all alone in a typhoon of silence Feeling like I might die soon from my hands Committing suicide, the ultimate sin In my final attempt to pray but this time to Satan Since I have became impatient of waiting on one liaison with Mr. Jason Sorry I meant Jehovah or was it Oliver? See what I'm saying? Mocking him though inside I love him but this world's tainting has gradually changed my future's painting Because I waited and waited and like many others heard Nathan now I'm another statistic on a news report. Ballistic is what they assume in short. But you and I both know that we had the chance to pray for me. To be who I am destined to be. An artist affecting an apocalyptic nation. For the better and inspiration of tomorrow. Making music that shows you me who is made by he who is the almighty G. With a double O O D. For he is overly dedicated to L O V E. Which is what made me. To be... An amazing role model, hard-working actor, designer, youth worker, CEO, founder and an artist by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who died as instructed to by God Almighty who saved me and spared me a spill of his blood yet look at all the good things that it has done, all the titles that it brings to think the world said that I couldn't sing but now I'm able to start, stop, pause and begin as I please because you prayed for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Although you may not know me, Help me find God's glory. This is my story. Born and raised in Africa, father left and strayed in Abuja. Mother and sister and brother are older, yet we live in one house as grown-ups, bullied for my accent, so I use music as my distraction. And I am not a perfect man, just trying to do the best that I can. I have lied, I have hurt those that I love. I have cried because I have sinned. I have stole from my mum. I have cheated on my hun. I swear so many times, but still can't keep to these words that I've sworn. But I am only one human, living in a world where we demonstrate self-hate, racism, corruption, more isms and prisms, fittings to try and fit in. Forced to do bad to gain goods. Multiple times experiencing friends losing lives to a knife. Being in prison for an innocent crime. For how much longer must you look me in these eyes before you sympathise and show some humanity? Of how together we can outweigh gravity. Gradually when we start to simply pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Because I'm trying to take this scene, but it ain't as easy as it seems. All this hard work that I does is not make-believe like Maybelline. In fact, my day-to-day -day regime is making me more wary than a graveyard scene. I'm in more pain than an aching spleen. This is my journey. This journey is like trying to tame a tainted beast and making it a place for peace. Like trying to wash the dishes, but the plates are clean. Think about it. But be glad. That us is what we have. And so winning is still possible. As long as you follow this one protocol. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. And please share what you have seen here. Because two ain't enough. We need three ears. It takes a second of your time to make a legend last in lives and generations. So stop hesitating and spread this peace to get everyone in the nation with internet access initially digitally praying. Let us create an holy, not necessarily religious overnight sensation. Because if we can make Coney 2012 or why I hate religion but love Jesus bigger than the mayor's major decisions, then why are we waiting? Why? Please drop your pride or whatever got feeling inside your mind tells you now and just do what you like because you know it's right. Pray for me. Literally, do.
Pray for me. I personally, me, myself and I need your prayers to be proved to the world that prayers work. And when that success comes, you know that technically you've not only helped me, but yourself and everybody else called me. Who's watching this possibly? A doctor, laborer, a nurse, hostman, a lawyer, driver, police officer, youth worker, fireman, cleaner, builder, singer, director, teacher, woman, pastor, actor, builder, dancer, author, beautician, dentist, musician, brother, electrician, brother, chef, sister, pilot, mom, minor, etc. Because when we've made my success, we've made your success, knowing you was involved in this. And to all of you in advance, I pay my thanks. Now please, pray for me. Thank you.